Your brain and your spinal cord make up your central nervous system, which controls everything your body does. Your brain contains billions of neurons, nerve cells, which send messages around your body via the spinal cord and then to effectors via the peripheral nerves. Messages are sent in the form of nerve impulses, which travel to and from your brain along your spinal cord. Nerve impulses are ionic imbalances that travel from one end of a neuron to the other because of a potential difference between the inside of the axon and its surroundings. When a neuron is at rest, the inside of the cell is negatively charged relative to the outside. This is because of potassium ions moving through passive potassium channels in the membrane and sodium-potassium channels pumping sodium ions to the outside of the cell and potassium ions into the cell. The resting potential is approximately minus 70 millivolts. When a stimulus is applied, an action potential occurs, involving a brief reversal of the membrane potential. This begins when the stimulus caused a change in membrane permeability for sodium and potassium ions. Sodium channels open and sodium ions flood into the cell. The positive sodium ions cause the resting potential of the cell to decrease. This is called depolarization. Once 40 millivolts is reached, the sodium channels close and the potassium channels open. Potassium floods out of the cell and the charge goes back down. This is called repolarization. The flow of some sodium ions along the neuron ahead of the action potential causes neighbouring sodium channels to open and depolarization to occur there. This process of depolarization and repolarization continues and the action potential moves all the way down the neuron. To continue its journey through the nervous system, the signal needs to start an action potential in the next neuron. The two neurons will not be in direct contact and the action potential cannot jump across the synaptic cleft. As the action potential reaches the end of the first neuron, calcium channels are opened and calcium flows into the cell. This induces vesicles containing neurotransmitters to fuse with the presynaptic membrane and the neurotransmitters diffuse across the synaptic cleft. The neurotransmitters move across the synapse and bind to complementary receptors in the postsynaptic membrane. This triggers the opening of sodium channels which causes depolarization of the membrane and the start of a new action potential in the second neuron. The neurotransmitters are then actively absorbed back into the original neuron or an enzyme is released to break them down, stopping them from generating continuous action potentials. Only reabsorption is shown here. Your nervous system contains many networks of neurons sending and receiving messages in this way all around your body.